Account tags are the easiest thing to create in Radius and one of the most beneficial. Think of them as groupings. You have statuses that tell you where you are in the process of working a lead to a renewed client, but tags allow you to group people together by lead source, upsell opportunities, and more. So let's create a tag. Go to Settings, then scroll down to Account Tags. Click Edit. Our demo account has tags listed already. We've added in various groupings like lead vendors and upsell, as well as things like pre-retirement and retirement. To add in a lead vendor tag to track and compare how productive your vendors are for you, go to our knowledge base. Follow the instructions for integrating your vendors, but follow step six. Many people skip this and it's really useful. Below the instructions and the Dropbox codes, you'll see the tag list. Note that not every vendor has the same format for their tag. Prospect Zone is all one word, but All Web Leads is AWeb. Let's grab AWeb and use it as an example. So I'll just copy AWeb and then paste it into the blank field above Add Tag. Click Add Tag. Simple. Now let's create an upsell to flood insurance. You can either click add tag or hit return and it will just add the tag for you. New tags will first appear at the bottom of the list, but then will be alphabetized when you refresh the screen or visit it next time. Let's go to a lead and see how to tag them manually. If they came in from a lead vendor, you will have the tag added for you, but if you want to tag them upsell to flood, you can manually do that in the file. Scroll down to the right hand column at the bottom, you'll see the tag cloud. This is where you can choose tags for your lead or client. Click on a name to choose it and click the X to remove it. But let's put that tag back on so we can see what we've done. The tags you have assigned to them will appear under their names for easy reference on every page of the file, and the tag cloud is always on the lower right-hand bar of every page. You now know how to create tags, so if you want to stop here, that's fine. Otherwise, let's see how it's useful. If you go to the Lead or the Clients page, you can filter by tags. Say a flood warning has been issued for Houston. You can filter by Upsell to Flood, and the city of Houston or the state of Texas, and start calling them directly from the list that the filter provides you. Click this Find Leads button to search by other criteria, like city, state, or zip code. The results show us one result. We can then call her and check in on her flood insurance needs. Remember to hit Reset Filters. You can do mass email in email, sending to leads and clients in Texas with the tag of Upsell to Flood. Select the template and edit it. Template creation is covered in another video, so let me just do this quickly for you. I'm choosing the state of Texas as well as that tag. It will then tell me how many leads and clients it will go out to. I'll select the template, edit the message, personalize it, and schedule it. Reports are also a good way to do lead source comparison by multi-selecting your vendors to see how many people are converting into clients. So in reports, you can do a custom report, select leads and clients, or maybe just clients. Select the tags. Once you've set the criteria, you'll scroll down and click Generate Reports. Since this is a demo account, I don't have anything that would show results here, but now you've seen how easy it is to create tags, how to add your lead vendor tags in, how to utilize the filter option, 
how to use tags in mass emails and in reporting. We also have day-triggered marketing and automated workflows that can utilize tags. See those specific videos for details.